hive mind compilation channels. By the way, if you see any of those pop up, subscribe to them. Oh. Funny tweet, we're gonna have to guess which rapper posted it. One point for each one we get, right? Me versus Dignan versus you. Melanie in Grouponville, <laughs> New Hampshire. That's a real place. Believe him, he's never lied before. <laughs> Grouponville, New Hampshire. <laughs> Look it up if you don't believe him, it's real. And Melanie, you're a real person too, and you're going down. <laughs> All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more. Go to HiveMindTV.com and check out our merch. We got a new Cartoon Puns poster out right now, it's on the screen. Uh, also, our Patreon is linked in the description. It's $5 a month, you get extra content, you get to play against us in the games, like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> A couple frozen margaritas, I turn into Olaf on the dance floor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking snowman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I get it because of, um, you know. Cocaine. Say, I don't want to say that say on it. here. My mom say doesn't cocaine. say it. Say it. Say, say cocaine. cocaine. Say cocaine. Say cocaine. Grant. Say cocaine. Say cocaine. Don't do it, though. No, just say it. What if Jesus just was like, hey, yo, <laughs> yo, fucking dead ass. My dad is fucking pissed, bro. He sent me down here, and I gotta, like, tell all you guys what to do, but I also, like, I'm gonna do some magic tricks while I'm here. <laughs> Are you with me or not? Like, come on. It's water, now it's wine, it's water, it's wine, it's water, it's wine, it's fish, it's bread, you know? <laughs> oh, you're gonna hang me on that thing? <laughs> this hat ain't comfortable. <laughs> get that thing away from me, yo. I get it. You hate me. Oh, Mary Magdalene? Nah, we're just friends, I think. I don't know, I can't really read the vibe. Now, Peter, I tried to hook up with him, but he denied me three times. Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> That's what I was gonna guess. Guess Heineken or something don't, common like up, that. Don't, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I wanna do this by myself. All okay. right. Guess Dirty Dog IPA or Stop. something. Stop. <laughs> I can't just have a man behind the curtain pulling my strings all the time. I'm not some sort of puppet. Who's that, then? Don't mind him. <laughs> I'm doing this by myself. Solo dolo, as they say. It's just me. But he is back there. Shut her up. <laughs> you right back there? Need anything? Snacks, drink? Ooh, okay. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. Yep. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah, that's a knot right there. Ah, Ooh, thanks, buddy. It is a shame what we do to those animals, though, for the meat industry. Yum. <laughs> this is a rare sight, a cow with green grass to feed on like that. Usually they're just raised in a factory, pump them full of goods, and then blow their brains up <laughs> when they're ready to devour. I want to remind you that the second tweet we did today was yeah. about eating 20 McDonald's hamburgers every day in a row, and you were like, yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah, but that's not cow meat. It is. No, that's all sorts of animals. Cats, dogs, birds, it's dirt, mm -mm. sticks. Dirt? Dirt and sticks are in dirt there. Dirt and sticks. Yeah. <laughs> Let's scrape anything out of the alleys. Okay. Scrape up the alleys. That was Ronald's original philosophy on business. Ronald <laughs> didn't start the company. Yes, He's he the did. mascot. He's a clown. No, he became the mascot. He started the company, though, with the classic alley scraping technique that invented the tasty burgers that we know and love today. I literally have seen a documentary about McDonald's, and it didn't start like that. It was wrong. The I was there. The do you were there? My family's worked at McDonald's for a very, very long time. <laughs> What's the Big Mac sauce made out of? You really want to know? Yeah. Colgate. What? Colgate. Like the, the toothpaste? Yeah. They tried it out as like an alternate to mint. Not everyone liked mint back in the day. So they tried like kind of like a mayonnaise relish. Yeah, like a Thousand <laughs> Island type thing. They banked on it. Thought it was really going to take off. Mm -hmm. Made a billion tubes of it. Really? Turns out consumers hated it. Right. Brushing their teeth with it, that is. That's when old Ronald dipped deep into his bag of tricks and he put it on the burger. Bought the Colgate tubes for a quarter price. Bam! Big Max. See, I'm kind of the opposite of Ronald. I was a clown before I was a CEO. So we are ranking these from a design standpoint. I have a graphic design degree. And I have a letter from my four times great grandfather sealed in his blood. I have a graphic design degree. And I have a questionable judgment of character. <laughs> I have a graphic design degree. And I have a spare tire in my bedroom. <laughs> Now, I have a graphic design degree. And I have a mouse that lives in my pillowcase. <laughs> His name's Winslow. <laughs> Teach me about graphic design school, Dad. <laughs> Jay-Z. Jay-Z is not included. Jay-Z taught me how to make a smoothie. He is not your savior. Jay-Z goes for a two-mile jog three times a week, but he is not your savior. Jay-Z voted for Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. He is not your savior. Jay-Z sometimes calls Beyonce Pookie Bear. But he is not your savior. I hope he does. Yeah, I mean, ha, what's up, Pookie Bear? <laughs> you yeah. want to watch a movie tonight? I love you, Pookie Bear. Oh, right. this is in years, and it's gonna be over a hundred. 
You don't know that? I know someone who's 100, so. Who? Ron. Ron who? I don't know his last name. He's a regular at the sweatshop. At the sweatshop? Yeah. It's the new gym I've been going to. Wait, so he's a regular at the gym? Yeah. We build sneakers. That's not a gym. <laughs> that's, <laughs> no, that's just a sweatshop. It's a lot of work. I know. I mean, yeah. Okay, sure. It's an incredible amount of work. And we don't get paid. We go there voluntarily. They don't call the stamp factory the gym just because we work hard over there. You do get a paycheck, though, and benefits. Absolutely, but you don't get a paycheck from the gym. Exactly. That's why it's the gym. That's why the sweatshop I go to is the gym. You got to quit that gym. I'm getting so strong, though. You're not. Look, yeah, see, that's what I mean. Yeah, you don't even look better. Yeah, you don't look better. So. Ramp is just one of my fetishes. <laughs> like a dragon that's pregnant in it. <laughs> it's a good rhyme scheme. I'll give him that. I like that it's just like rap is one of my fetishes too. It's yeah. like, it's a fetish? Yeah, he gets in the studio. He's like, oh. He's like, you know what gets me off? Rap. <laughs> Bars. Now, don't judge me, but. I'm really into rap. <laughs> in the bedroom. Can you spit a bar for me, please? It's the only way I'm going to finish. Give me a hot 16, baby. Give me a hot 16. <laughs> Punch me in. Punch me in. <laughs> Is it cool that I have little overalls on under my clothes? <laughs> They're little. They're not big. I mean, that's fine with me. Okay. Is it cool with you guys? Is it fine that I have little overalls on under underneath my clothes? Leave your opinion in the comments about my little overalls under my clothes that aren't even holding up my pants. They're just, I'm just wearing them. It's Pontius Pilate, and by the way, it's spelled like Pilate, not like pilot. Like he wasn't a pilot. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, right. I, that was kind of my follow-up question. I, yeah, I figured yeah. that was where you were going to go with it. But yeah. yeah, it's just spelled like P-I-L-A-T-E. What if I was the poncho pilot? And I like flew for Delta Airlines, but I always wore a poncho because I didn't like the windshield. I love that. Yeah. I think that's really, well, you need the windshield still. No, you're no? fine. Goggles. <laughs> Goggles and a poncho. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 600 miles an hour. They go faster than that, don't they? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'm I don't guessing. either. You said it so confidently. 547 to 575. Hey, cool. this guy knows speed. Yeah. Those are just planes on commercials, though. Whatever. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they go slower for this. They got to film them. You know? Slow that thing down. <laughs> How am I ever supposed to get that? What's it going? 600 miles an hour? Give me like more like 547. Jesus. People are never going to know. People are going to wonder if that's even a plane. <laughs> <laughs> so they shoot commercials, right? Yeah. Come on. Give me another take on that big bird. Where are my extras? I miss the rage. <laughs> <laughs> it's very shrill. It's a shrill thing you're doing there. That's kind of my rage thing. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Rage! Oh, jeez. What's the next movie I'm going to guess spot on but Death on the Balls? Garfield the movie. Is this the porno or the regular one? The porno. <laughs> oh, okay. Animated? Mix, I believe. Yeah, it's a mix. It's, it's a CGI Garfield, and, and he's hanging out with real people. Yeah. Now, here's the trick, though. The lasagna is real. So it was like a grown man on all fours, just like, <laughs> shown down. <laughs> No, that's that version that he's talking about. Oh, right, right, right. You've yeah. shown me that. I guess. Yeah. I, guess. I keep that one on VHS, and it's titled 9-11 footage. 9-11 <laughs> highlights. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think about this. This is not my preference. Now, this is my preference. Oh. This yeah. is my... Yeah. Kind of a straight yeah. shooter. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Break me off a piece of that. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Wow. Cowbell. That one's like I'm yelling for Kit Kats. Yeah. I want one right now. Make me have a piece of that Kit Kat bar. I have yeah. Kit Kats in the freezer. Actually? Yeah, you want one? Kind of. I'll break you off a piece of Let's that Kit Kat. Let's go. Wow. go. Wow. That's... Hey, that's... Whoa. Oh. I thought you were going to break her off a piece. Why did yeah, you throw it all the... in? Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh. Come on. This one's for me. That well, one's for you. You look like you were hitting it out of the fuck. Well, I out of the it's... fuck! <laughs> and I'd like to take this time to thank our sponsor, Harry Styles. <laughs> Without you, Harry, none of this would be possible. Harry Styles sponsored this video? Yes. I didn't know that. Say thank you to Harry. Thank you, Harry. What was less, that? Where did that voice come from? Flirtatious. I'm sorry. <laughs> My voice is weird. might work with him someday. <laughs> I don't want to start off on the wrong foot. Right. Start off on a cold foot. Um... <laughs> Are there any talking points Shoulder for me fingers. about Harry? Yes, they're right there on the prompt. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Harry Styles, not only are you a talented musician, but your first foray into acting was a marvelous success and bewildered the youth? Correct. Bewildered the youth. Yep. It's I, I don't... It's Good line. odd wording, but yeah, okay. And if... Oh, God, it's so, say it. it's so small. Just say it. Okay. And I know one thing. If Harry Styles is sponsoring the video, it can only go one direction. Okay. Great. Oh, Great. God, he, I can't believe he put that in there. Yeah, now the call weird. to action. 
call to action. Okay. That cannot be right. It is. Just okay. say it. All right. We're getting paid a lot for this one. Okay. Here we go. Go to verizonwireless.com and use code Harry Styles. Mm-hmm. Where, why shouldn't we be the code? Why no. is he <laughs> no. the code? He's the code. Usually the code's about our channel. It's I like know. for our... Okay. I requested that it Whatever. Was use Styles. code Harry Styles for 100% off a new iPhone. <laughs> wow. It seems insane, but... Mm. Are you sure this is the real Harry Styles? Where'd you get this inquiry? Email. Email? Yeah. And it was from like the official Harry team? Or? It said Harry's team. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. I trust it. Yeah, me too. I love his music. If I get crazy rich one day, I would get into horse breeding. Really? Yeah, I think it's so cool. And I just want to name something crazy, like that old cheeseburger under the couch coming up on the rear, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, horse yeah. race horses names are always ridiculous <laughs> phrases. My bitch of an ex-wife coming around <laughs> takes the lead. <laughs> See, the only horse I like is the one outside of Target that you put a quarter in, and then you ride it for a while, mm-hmm. and then you kind of forget that you didn't pay the meter on your quarter car and mm-hmm. then you go over and you realize that you got a parking ticket mm-hmm. and you plead with the meter maid for a while. I know that's not what you're supposed to call them anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever the attendant's name is. Yeah. You plead with them. You go, please, please, please. I don't have any money. I can't pay this parking ticket. Mm-hmm. And then they say, sorry, just doing my job. And all you have is one quarter left. And then you have to make the decision. Yep. Are you going to put it in the meter? Or are you going to leave that parking ticket on there? And you go back and you ride that horse outside target for a little bit longer, mm. just rocking back and forth. <laughs> Um, you can call them parking pigs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> they try to bite our swag, but they bitches biting our dicks. You don't want to brag about getting your C chewed on. <laughs> it would be really funny if bite my dick replaced suck my dick. That's kind of a funnier <laughs> insult. Like if you're saying it to someone like, hey, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. Bite my dick, buddy. People would be like, yo. Wait a minute. They really put a visual. Like when somebody says suck my dick, I don't even think about it. No. as like the visual right. anymore. But bite my dick. If somebody <laughs> said that to me, I'd be like, yo. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Picturing Bugs Bunny and his big carrot. <laughs> What's up, Gak? <laughs> hey, get out of the road. Bite my dick. <laughs> right here, pal. Bite it. <laughs> Paul McCartney wishes he was fucking Jason Derulo. Yeah, then he'd have a fucking number one hit. <laughs> oh, I meant like sex. <laughs> yeah. Paul McCartney wishes he was fucking Jason Derulo. I don't know. I shouldn't have said stuff like that. That's like one of the greatest musicians of all time and an old British guy. Oh my God, what'd you do to the table? Oh, geez. Hey, you all right, buddy? <laughs> hey, listen. I told you you can drink before the episodes, but if you drink too much, then it's not going to be fun. I like the whole ring spinning. No, I feel no. like I'm wobbling. Well, you, you are wobbling. <laughs> the room's not. Oh, he's wolfing again. Yeah. I don't feel so good anymore. Sounds like a speedboat. <laughs> you know what? On second thought, I can kind of see why Kenny doesn't want to work with us. <laughs> Nine to eleven, and you know what that calls for. <sighs> A nine eleven challenge. Grant, pass me that toy plane. I still think this is an insensitive bit. You Hold up both mean? your arms, Riley. Play along. What is this? Nineties Conan? It's like I don't think so, man. <laughs> Wait! It takes a while for the jet fuel emits the steel beams. Okay, fine. Oh my god, that fire looks pretty bad up there. I hope another doesn't. Wow! Tell me, man, I don't think this is a good idea, man. All right, now make a pentagon with your hands. Should we scramble the fighter jets, General? <laughs> Besides the people on the plane. All right, Riley, that'll be a field in Pennsylvania. <laughs> this is our plane. You're not going to take this to the White House. <laughs> Wait, where's the black box? Why is nothing left of it? Oh my God. What a terrible day for America. But it ends up uniting us all. And now Grant <laughs> is going to be George W. Bush and he's going to throw out the first pitch at the Yankees' next home game in New York. The place is going to go ballistic. I'm proud to be an American, <laughs> where at least I know I'm free. And uh, I guess now is a good time to introduce the name Grant's been begging me to call him all day. G. Willikers, what's the next question? Yeah, Grant wants to be called G. Willikers from now on. He said G. Money and G. Baby are They're just done. too overused, a little cliche. Yeah. And G. Willikers was unique and fit his vibe. So if you guys want to call him G. Willikers from now on, like, you know. You guys could maybe right now comment, wow, wow, we was. G. Willikers really did a good one on this game. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, whatever you guys want. We tried to talk him out of it, but he was emphatic about it, and he threatened both of our lives with a box cutter. So, here we are. 
Now, hold on a second. United we stand, divided we fall. I want to say that this is something else. Something like else a Blink-182 song or something? No, isn't this just the U.S. slogan? Like, isn't this the whole United States slogan, right? I thought it was the military's. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. What's the military's then? I don't know. It's not this. Okay, Jesus. I know the Marines is the few, the proud. Yeah. The Marines. Air Force is a... Uh, Two and a half men, the Charlie Sheen version. <laughs> That's the whole slogan? That's the Air Force's slogan, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. The Navy's is a Steve Irwin was an American hero. Even though he's Australian? Yeah. That's, it doesn't make any it's sense. It's controversial, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, yeah. Are you all right? And the you, North... What's going on? The, the, <laughs> You're talking in like a slow way that the, makes you think you like sipped lean or something. The Coast Guard, <laughs> right, yeah, which is it. a branch of the military, their slogan yeah. is Steve Winwood for three deep downtown cash. <laughs> Steve That's, Winwood, the singer of Higher Love? Yeah. Give me your higher love. Steve Winwood from downtown, yes, cash. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. But it's not true. There's no way it's true. Sorry. The Marines. You already said the Marines. Is tapioca pudding is weird texture. It's not. <laughs> it's not the Marines. We, you already said the Marines. The few, the proud, the Marines. I didn't say that. Just wake up. Please wake up. <laughs> Call JG, let's wait. cash. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I feel like if I don't choose this bank, I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> like, oh, Who is this, Lay Miz? Yeah. What's going on? You go to church, you choose this bank. JG Woodward! I don't know why Echophone made me think of this, but imagine like a payphone type scenario, like if you didn't have a phone on you, but there's like a box where you could go in and post on social media. Like Ooh. you put a quarter in, it's like you could let it tweet off. You should write for Black Mirror. For Black Mirror? Oh, yeah, the show. Oh, yeah? Do you get why it's called Black Mirror? A lot of people don't get this, but actually the phone is kind of like a Black Mirror. When it's so, off. When it's off, you can see yourself in it, and when it's on, you can really see yourself in it. Oh, like sexy pictures of yourself that you take and you share? Yes. You know, you've never seen your ass. You've only seen reflections and pictures of it. The front person of a band. Oh. All right, you get to go first. Thanks. Oh. Hank, chill out. TJ. Shh. TJ? Yeah, that's what I call him now. <laughs> what? I call your dog TJ. Why? Because it's cuter. It's better name. It's not cuter. TJ is fucking cute. It's not a cute name. It's yeah. maybe like a cool name for like a fifth grader. Little TJ. His name's like Tyler and he's like, I go by TJ now. That's TJ to me. You can't change that. His name's Hank. Great. Where does the TJ even come from? <laughs> me. Okay, whatever. This came from me. He's bald by JPEG Mafia. Oh, oh man. man. Bald people suck. <laughs>